goalkeeper. in there with Todd, it's going to come to McGrath, oh what a fine save by Shilton, well he looks relieved and England might too, the ball coming out to... Goalkeepers are frequently neglected in coaching sessions, this is a great mistake since matches can be won and lost on the performance of a goalkeeper. This coaching session takes place in a grid area 20 yards by 10 yards. Portable goals are used. It is most important that the goalkeeper should practice in a full-sized goal. A server shoots the ball at the goalkeeper at varying heights. Terrific. Good. In this session, Mike Kelly begins by coaching Peter Shilton to adopt the correct Good. starting position. That's fine. What I want you to do, just hold it there, Vince. This is just give yourself every chance wherever the ball's going to go. So it's very important that you set yourself nicely, yeah. that your feet are in a comfortable position for yourself. Fine. Okay, which I would think is roughly shoulder width apart. Yeah. Then just relax and get onto the balls of your feet and get your hands in a position where you can cover yeah, all shots relax, around yeah, the with a little bit of a crouch. Nice. Yes. Okay, Mike. Okay. Let's put it straight in. Fine. We'll play. Although covering a near post shot here, Shilton's quick footwork gets him across goal. It's important to be composed. Have the hands in a comfortable but ready position and be balanced. Notice also how steady Shilton's head is at all times as he prepares to receive a shot. There's no sharp movement, no sign of anxiety. Under match pressure, these qualities are crucial. Well done. That's a good sight. Mike Kelly now progresses to deal with handling and stopping the ball, starting with ground shots. There are two basic techniques. The first is the scoop or cup technique. With controlled skipping movements, the goalkeeper gets into position to scoop the ball with both hands off the ground. The other way of scooping the ball into the body is by kneeling. By bending the knee inwards, a barrier is created behind the hands for greater safety. The whole body should act as a barrier, not only to stop the ball, but to secure it. The in-between position is used when the ball bounces a few feet in front of the goalkeeper. Good. Mike Kelly now deals with handling waist and chest high shots. Play. That's five things. Good. Well done. Good. Terrific. Well done, Peter. Good. Taking the waist high shot, Shilton's upper body bends over and traps the ball. Good. Well done. That's good. At chest height, the hands play a much greater part. They must prevent the ball from bouncing away by gripping it tightly. 
The keeper has to be constantly alert and aware and make slight adjustments. Quite often it will be necessary to catch the ball head high and above the head. The hands now have an even more important role to play because they are the only barrier between the ball and the net. The hands must finish close together as the ball arrives. Strength is needed in the fingers, wrists and forearms simply to stop the ball. The fingers in particular need to be spread, ready to grip the ball on contact. Shilton's head is steady and the hands go to the back and side of the ball. Fine, that's good. There will be times well when it is not possible well to catch the ball. Hold on, Peter. O'Neill. Swerving. Well stopped. And look at that applause by the other goalkeeper. Shilton's applause was because the ball was above head height, swerving and impossible to catch. The first essential is to get into the line of the ball's flight. This is done by short backward steps with the feet. The takeoff is one-footed and as the body begins to turn sideways, the arm nearest the ball reaches upwards with the palms and fingers of the hand making contact with the bottom part of the ball to deflect it over the bar. It is a bad technique and very risky to attempt to turn the ball over the bar by punching. A perfect technique. Oh. It was going to the top. As we have seen, the position of the ball will sometimes change several times before a shot is taken. The goalkeeper must adjust his position each time the ball moves in order to constantly be in line between the ball and the goal. To help the goalkeeper to practice getting into line, the server now plays the ball sideways and then shoots on the second touch. The quicker the goalkeeper gets into line, the earlier he can be balanced and relaxed, ready for the shot. Phil Parks is set for a near post shot, but quickly moves into line when the ball is pulled back. Fine save by Parks from Craig Johnston. The important thing when moving is to glide. Do not cross the feet, brush the grass with the studs. Shilton's movements to stay in line with the ball are perfect. As the ball is passed, he glides across, brushing the turf with his feet and is balanced and steady. Woods. Muren's on the far side. And here's Muren. The goalkeeper should always try to be set before the ball is struck. Good. Good. Now, if you've got time to, to come down the line, once you've got into the line, then do so. And that will depend on his control. Yeah. But once fine. he's in the... Uh, setting himself up for the shot and he's dropping his head, you need to be setting yourself. You mean if we've got time... Mike to Kelly now coaches Peter Shilton to time his movements in order to be in the best possible position to save each shot. The grid area is now extended to 20 yards long by 30 yards wide. The server has a teammate at either side of the grid to whom he can pass the ball. The position of the ball can now be changed by 15 yards or more before the shot is taken. The danger for the keeper is that in moving greater distances he could be caught while still moving into line. Here Shilton travels at least six yards. He has made up that ground so quickly that he is set and able to dive in the opposite direction.
Having moved into line, if the ball is outside the playing distance of the attacker, the goalkeeper should move along the line towards the ball. As number eight gets the ball, Shilton moves to his right, then to his left, and then forward two yards. The goalkeeper should move along the line as far as possible, consistent with his being able to achieve a balanced position before the ball can be shot at goal. It is important that the goalkeeper should react to the movement of the ball and not the movement of the player. Good, that's fine. Good. Decision, footwork, balance, hold the ball. If necessary, the goalkeeper will come all the way and win the ball. This is the technique for getting down to shots near the body. The legs collapse to let the hands and body drop on and behind the ball, trapping it. A good example of the close relationship between coaching and match performance. Oh, what a fine save by Shilton. Well, he looks relieved and England might too. It is important that the goalkeeper should not obstruct his own vision, either by diving face down or by his arms moving across the line of vision. The head must be steady throughout. Shots away from the body require that the goalkeeper moves his body weight onto the leg nearest to the ball and then thrusting off that leg. If the goalkeeper can hold the ball, he should do so. In stopping and holding ground shots, one hand should be behind the ball and one hand should be on top of the ball to hold it. The results of failing to hold the ball are usually costly. Good. And just hold it there again. Can you just lie on the floor and give him a ball? Good. Just hold the ball. It's very important when you're making them ground sights. The importance of holding on to the ball cannot be emphasised too often. You stop the ball with the bottom hand and you trap the ball with a hand on the top. That's right. So you're getting your hand behind the ball, the ball and it comes. And, and then you're trapping it with the top so, hand yeah, rather so just, than getting both your hands behind the ball. And there's an opportunity of the ball Yeah. Well, it's bound to break away, away really then. Yes. You get it perfectly. Yes. Yeah. Then you need to pull the ball into your body, either by yeah. bringing your knees up towards yeah. the body or bringing the ball into your body right. yourself. For your yeah, knees. I think sometimes you can get it in there. Yes. And sometimes your legs come round, maybe, right. and yes. you, you trap it in there, yes. something like yes. that. Yeah. Once contact is made with the ball, the body and legs should protect it from opponents. If the goalkeeper cannot hold the ball, he should deflect the ball to safety. Shilton gets into line, glides well across his goal, and when the ball is struck early, his decision is to deflect the ball to safety with a fine but strong touch. With opponents running at you, an acute sense of position and angle is required to make a save like this. The golden rule is that if in any doubt, the keeper should choose to deflect the ball to safety. Good, good throw. 
Two goalkeepers give each other practice in saving shots in a grid area 30 yards by 20 yards. There are two full-sized portable goals. Good, well done, well done. I'll try and score. Excellent, good. Now, if you haven't got time to get into the line, Peter, then obviously you get to a certain point where you've then got to take off. That's right, so yeah. So get into but you that get line. Feet as quickly as you can. That's right. Yeah. And get your momentum so that you can get a good dive. It is absolutely essential that goalkeeping practice takes place in full-size goals. Okay, take your time, Rob. Try and get them into the corners, Rob, if you can. Good, excellent, good. Pat Jennings turns the ball over the bar one-handed in the 1979 Cup Final. This practice shows the keeper under pressure from two attackers. Good. That's the terrific save. Good. Now the important thing is, Peter, is you're not looking for the, the dipper before it's come. Because Shilton is off his line, narrowing the angle, he is vulnerable to a ball lobbed or dipping over his head. With short, quick steps, he goes backwards, turning slightly before leaping off the ground with one foot. The arm nearest the ball is extended, and strong fingertips push the shot over the bar. Throughout the movement, his head is steady as he watches the ball. The movement for turning the ball over the bar two-handed is similar. Because conditions are bad here and the ball is slippery, Shilton uses two hands to turn the ball over the bar. He really got hold of that and Shilton up to turn it over. Although the starting position and footwork are very similar to the one-handed technique, the body is not turned. Using both hands gives a greater degree of safety a larger barrier is presented to the ball. It's an easier save to make, but still requires good concentration and technique. This technique should only be used when the ball cannot be caught comfortably. Narrowing the angle is a most important technique of goalkeeping. The starting position, as with all aspects of goalkeeping, is critical. When the ball is in the attacking third of the field, the goalkeeper should be 12 to 18 yards off his goal line. When the ball is in the middle third of the field, the goalkeeper should be 6 to 12 yards off his goal line. When the ball is in the defending third of the field, the goalkeeper should be three to six yards off his goal line. Play! Go on. Good stop. Well done, Graham. Good. That's better. Stood up longer there. That's good. The goalkeeper Play. rolls the ball out to start each attack. Mike Kelly coaches the goalkeepers to narrow the angle along a line from the ball to the front half of the goal, if the ball is on a flank, the centre of the goal, if it is in a central position. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, all right. Right. Well done. Good. Okay, Rob. That's good, Peter. Good starting position. Oh. Terrific. Good. That's magnificent. You know, when the ball's at the other end of the field there, you can be pinching yards yeah. and be about six yards from your goal. So that if balls are over hit, you can easily come out and That's just right. them up just and take be, them. Yeah. That's terrific. Good. Right. Go on. Good. Well done. Good. 
Well in. But well in. Right, Vin. Good. Now your starting position is okay there, Robbie, and you've got into the line. But when he's striking the ball, you're still coming out towards him. Hold your position and make yourself as big as possible for as long as possible. Play. Terrific. Good. Excellent. Good. Much better. Good. Got close enough to spread yourself and make a contact on the ball, Peter. Yeah. Terrific. I thought I, thought I had to go there because yeah, it's just good. overrun it. Good. Yeah. Play. In narrowing the angle, Shilton assesses the situation, dictates his opponent's movement, and then seizes the opportunity to attack the ball. It is important for the keeper to make himself as big as possible and present a formidable barrier. The goalkeeper must have confidence to stand his ground and not be panicked into rushing wildly at the ball. But if the opportunity presents itself, he should come all the way and gather the ball. In match action, Shilton takes up a perfect angle and spreads his body to present a long barrier. And cut the angle. Let's make angles if we can. Give it me. And again. Turn. Steady. Go in. It's it first time. Unlucky. Well played. Let's face up quickly. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Tight. The goalkeeper must support his defence not only by his positional play but also by the information and encouragement he gives to his defenders. Mike Kelly is coaching Peter Shilton to support his defence in a 3v3 game inside a grid area 30 yards by 20 yards. There are two full-sized portable goals. Well played. Good. Okay. Okay. So yeah, your starting yeah, position is very Just important. knock it. Good. Ready? Good. Well played. Okay, I use another ball. So while the ball's on that end of the court, it's very important yeah. now that you're in contact with these back players. Nice and tight. Tight. Close him up. Let it go. Turn quickly. Turn. You get your shot in. Hold it. Hit it. Oh, well played. That's brilliant. Face up now, this is when we're lively. Let's get lively, knock it. And again, touch it. Strong, this is strong, you've got it, you've got it. Oh, well played. I'll have it back. Go, go, go. Oh, well played. Pick up then. That's fine. Nice and sharp, pick up. Good. Nice and sharp. Tight, tight, win it. Win it. Good, good. That's good. Terrific, good save. Remember the importance of the correct starting position. Remember how to get into the line of flight. Remember the technique for holding ground shots. Remember how to hold aerial shots. Remember the importance of deflecting shots that cannot be held, both on the ground and over the bar. Remember how to narrow the angle. Go to him. Wait, wait. Steady, steady. Put your foot on it. Yes, yes, easy, easy. And again, yes. Remember the importance of supporting the defence and giving information to your teammates. And again, and again. Give it here. Well played, well played, brilliant.
Have a rest, have a rest. This takes place in half a pitch. There is a portable goal on the halfway line with a goalkeeper in each goal. There is also a player on each of the flanks to receive a throw from one goalkeeper before making a cross for the other goalkeeper to catch. To deal with crosses effectively, goalkeepers require good technique, good judgment, good cooperation with co-defenders, and not least of all, courage. Well claimed and well held, even more so by... If the keeper fails to dominate his box for crosses, he's likely to pay a heavy penalty. His Gemmel! Mike Kelly coaches Peter Shilton and David Fry in the ideal starting position for dealing with crosses. That's a good starting position, Peter. Centre going a couple of yards off the line. That's very good. Yeah. Keep on letting go. That's good. Boy. Yeah, I'll try to read the uh, defender yeah. leaving it. Good. But just have that open stance. Yeah. Don't close your stance so you can see what's going on in your right shoulder. That's good. Keep on letting go. Terrific. Good. Good. From a good starting position, a decision to stay in goal or attack the cross has to be made. In the other goal, young David Fry misjudges the line of flight of the ball and is unable even to make a satisfactory contact. Before the goalkeeper makes any move, he must assess three things. The line along which the ball is travelling, the pace at which the ball is travelling, and the trajectory of the ball. Good, well taken, that's good. Terrific. That's a very good throw. Good, good overarm throw. Just changing the point of attack. Yeah. Good. Once the keeper has decided on line, pace and trajectory, he must then decide whether to stay in goal or decide to come out to take the cross. The goalkeeper should attack the ball, but must decide to come late, come quickly, and take the ball at the highest point possible. Good, well done. With so many factors involved, the goalkeeper needs experience and confidence. When taking the ball at the highest possible point, the arms should be outstretched with the hands behind and to the side of the ball. Watch the ball carefully throughout and keep the head steady. There are times when a high cross forces the keeper to move backwards and deflect the ball to safety rather than catch it. As long as the flight of the ball is assessed early, short backward steps enable a save to be made. Keep up. Yes, that's terrific. Good. You know, if you're not going to be able to take them and just help them over the bar. That's just right, have a yeah. feeling with your outside hand, just to see yeah. where the bar is or the post is. Wide to Bond. Norwich with plenty of players forward here. Rob is number nine. It's a nice turn by him.
The practice is now developed by bringing in one defender. Here, Peter Shilton goes forward into the line of flight to take the ball. Hold up. Good. Push out. Communication between goalkeeper and defender is absolutely vital. Keep out, let it go! Good, good, good. What I'm going to say to you, Peter, once he's made a contact on the ball over there and he sets it up, yeah. that might be the chance for you to just have a look and see. The goalkeeper should be aware of where his defender just is. Have a look and glance see, and see where Chris is. Yeah. So once he's made his contact and set it up, just have a glance and see where That's your right. cooperating defender is. I think it's better when the ball's in motion as well. You know, when the ball's in motion, to have a look then. That's right. Once yeah. he's set it up, then once he's going to cross it, and then you've got to concentrate on taking the ball. That's good. Just hold that position. That's good. Keep on letting go! Once the keeper has made his intentions clear, the defender should offer protection or cover. Good. Just hold. Time. Knock it, knock it. We'll play. Well Good. All done. That's it. Here, number two obstructs the keeper's vision by moving across the line of flight. Keeper, let it go! Hold! Oh. Chris, try not to turn your back on the ball. So when you go in there, just turn there so you always see the ball and see Peter at the same time. Okay. Knock it away, knock it away. Good. Well done. played. And that's the important thing about the open stance there, Peter, yeah. because it's not so difficult yeah. to see uh, supporting players in the ball Steady. as well. This time, number two plays well by standing off Keep and providing out. protection for the goalkeeper. The decision for defenders is whether it is best to offer protection or cover. Good, well done, terrific, good. So they're the balls that are going to go to the back end of the yeah. six-yard box, which you're not going to hold, and you just got to deflect out of play. Yeah, I think you covered me well there because yes. you got on that near post. Yes. Good. As Peter Shilton said, the defender did well by keeping the ball in view and at the same time positioning to protect the near post. Let it go. Yeah. Good. Try to get both hands to that ball. The practice is now developed to include one attacking player. That's it, steady. Pick up, pick up. That's good. Don't let him push you too far back. Tight! Tight, well played, good. nice and tight. Well done, good, good. That's important now, Peter, that we've got an attacking player in that once he sets it up, yeah. you can just have a look and see where they are. Yeah. Keep that going. So just have a glance after That's he it. sets nice it up. Nice and tight inside. Watch that near post. From now. Keep up. Good. It's okay. But that's alright. That's okay. Just go in and track him down. Because you're going to go for the first cross, you see. Just follow him in and then leave him to me. Just cover it in case I don't get it. So stay goal side. That's good. I'll play nice and tight good. with him. Good. Now attack the ball. Away! I'll play. Well done. Good. That's important with the communication here that yeah. you don't excite people. So they can just get Steady it away there. cleanly. Well good. Good. Near post. Let go! I'll well play. Good That's decision. Okay. Well done, Chris. That's good. That's a good decision. Once yeah. you're in, you've made up your mind you're going to go and attack the ball, you carry on and attack the ball and get it away. You don't get it, Chris. That's I'm good. getting it there. So good. it's one of us who's going to get it, and that's the main thing. That's good. Have a glance. Take it away. Well, time. Nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Yes. Well done. Good. The goalkeeper should communicate with his defender whenever necessary. Just have a look where he is. Good. What's that good. near post? Away! Well, good header. Great well header. Good. But we want plenty of distance. Good. Good. When the goalkeeper is put under pressure, he may elect to punch the ball. Terrific. Good. Good. 
In a crowded penalty area, the punch must clear the immediate danger. When punching, the keeper must be strong and determined, a name for height and distance. The technique involves a short, sharp movement, with the fist making contact through the bottom half of the ball. After a defensive mistake, Shilton clears the penalty area with a one-fisted punch. Shilton had to come for it. And from an in-swinging corner, a two-fisted punch. Good right hook. The ball going rather wider, I think, than Shilton had anticipated. The golden rule is, if in doubt, punch. The major danger areas for crosses are the near post and the far post. Here a goal in the near post area. Nelson the cross. Here is Stapleton. Ah, it's a fine goal. And now one at the far post. Rogers arrived. Well done. Well done. The practice is further developed to a situation of two attackers well done, against two there. defenders in the penalty area plus a goalkeeper and a player crossing the ball from the right-hand flank to either the near or the far post area. John Robertson and Tony Woodcock combined to exploit the near post area. The starting position of the goalkeeper is critical. Shilton is standing sideways and edging towards his left-hand post, which in this case is his near post. In a match example, the ball is crossed to the far post area. The goalkeeper, Pat Jennings, moves across his goal to protect what is now his near post until the danger is passed. He wanted to make it better, he did. The shot was hopelessly mishit. Hold well on, that's it. Leave that space. Good, now don't let him wood you in. Good, good. I'll do. Hold it there, hold it there. Good, now don't lose him. Good. Near post. The important right. thing when a ball is being oh, driven right. across oh, the face oh, of the oh, goal oh, is that the goalkeeper should hold his ground and not panic. Knock it away. Knock it away. Well played. Well done. Okay. That's fine. Shilton again holds, this time at the near post, and is alert, calm and positive. It is important that the goalkeeper dominates situations like this. Okay, Good. let's have a look Good. inside. Good. What's that near post? Good. Far post, far post. Keeper! Well done. Terrific. Good. As well as dominating, the keeper must maintain concentration and be able to react to any change in attack. Shilton checks his initial decision, but still has time to readjust and come to the near post and collect the ball. The smallest error of judgment by the keeper in these crucial areas leaves him with too much ground to cover and unable to narrow the angle properly. Puts his name on the Wembley score sheet and Ipswich go in front. In all near and far post situations, the goalkeeper requires judgment, confidence and courage. Still Coventry enjoying more of the match, looking the more likely side to score. That could be misleading, as we know. Here comes Shilton for the cross. The goalkeeper and his co-defenders here must accept collective responsibility for failure at the near post. Ali Brown, the scorer. 
George Wood catches this cross to the far post and distributes well to set his team on immediate attack. The goalkeeper as well, setting David Thomas on his way. Most of the other players still back in the Everton half as Thomas goes past Nickel. Latchford's gone to the left. For any type of cross, a goalkeeper should maintain an open body position. Here, Peter Shilton can see the ball at all times. Away, away! Good header. Well, well done. Good. Good information, that's good. Great header, that. In a practice in which there are two attackers against two defenders, there is a variety of service which gives Peter Shilton the chance to exercise all the various techniques for dealing with crosses. Let go, keeper! Good. Well done. That's good. Okay, let's pick up. What's the one driven in? Away! Great header, let's well push done. out. Well done. Good. Well done. Come on, sort it out. Nice and tight. Make him play it. Well done. Good. Well done. Get goal side. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Away! Good header good. again. That's good. And play, and play. And again, let's look inside. Keep up! Well done. Good. That's fine. Let's push out good. on it. Good. Well done. Good. That's fine. Good. Good. Right, play. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's have a look round. What's that near post? What's that near post? Keep up! Well done. Good. Good. That's fine. I want to look because a little bit more height and length. Yeah. Please. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. I'll do. Look inside. Not too far back. Hold the line. Now look near post. Well done. Good. Well done. Good. Good, that's fine. But now what you've got to do is just get into the line and yeah. be in a position to I save the... I really call for that because I wasn't sure yeah. what he was going to do that's there. Fine. You know, Good. have the reaction thing. Nice and tight. Hold it there, hold it there, hold Good. it there. Now just have a glance. Come on in near post. Just watch your body position. Keep on, let it go! Well done. Good. Let's move out on it. Terrific. Good. Well done, lads. Well done. Keep it going. Clearly, the problems for goalkeepers are numerous. How often would you expect a snapshot from this position? Good build-up by Leeds Graham. There are occasions when you have to move out to take the ball across the line of flight. Brady had a hand if the ball is a long time in flight, the goalkeeper can cover more ground than most people imagine. When the ball swerves or dips, the keeper must be prepared to adjust accordingly. With the box so often packed, you must be certain of your route to the ball. Oh, what a good throw from the England goalkeeper. You must never allow yourself to be intimidated or distracted. Touched over for a corner, and Davy Robb who scored... Deflections and snapshots demand immediate reflex saves. Oh, did well at the near post. Where possible, you must move along the line of flight and take the ball as early as possible. All these different types of save are only possible if the keeper combines good footwork, safe hands and a steady head. 
Peter Shilton took all the knocks and bangs with a smile, and in the 16 hours of coaching necessary to make these two goalkeeping films, only let in a handful of goals. It is this professional attitude which has helped him become the world-class goalkeeper that he is. Mirren to take the corner. Oh, very easily away. Put back by Walk, and superbly tipped around by Shilton. David Johnson doing the hurrying there. It's come to Dalglish. Oh, what a save! And when they asked Shilton to produce it, he certainly did. This is Wallace. Ferguson. Oh, what a save! Oh, outstanding goalkeeping by Shilton. McDermott, Kennedy. Tunis, Douglas, Alan Kennedy. Oh. It was going for the top, and it was turned into the crowd. Shake of the head from Kennedy. Shilton only concerned about the marking for the corner. Spence in there with Todd. It's going to come to McGrath. Oh, what a fine save by Shilton. Well, he looks relieved, and England might too. Saves will always be the first priority for any goalkeeper. But whilst he is the last line of defence, he is also the first line of attack. So good distribution is vital. This accurate throw leads to a goal. Playing for England, Peter Shilton turns defence into attack swiftly with a perfectly paced throwout. Now a safe underarm throw and good supporting. But the second throw involves an unnecessary element of risk which could easily have been punished rather than leading to a goal. Good supporting and quick and accurate change of direction with the throw, leading to another goal. Remember the importance of the correct starting position and vision through 180 degrees. Remember to make an early decision to come or stay. Remember how to attack the ball. Remember how to catch the ball. Remember, if in doubt, punch the ball.
perseverance. Remember how to recover a cross goal from the near post to the far post. Remember the importance of accurate distribution of the ball. Have a rest, have a rest, have a rest. <laughs>